Now we are going to we move to another concept in real number system that is absolute volume absolute absolute value absolute absolute value so absolute value absolute value I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm today very stuttering. Absolute value is defined as if if a number A if a real number A sorry, if an, if an, if a number A is in real number then the absolute value the absolute value sorry i this one i use this one color the the absolute the absolute value of a is the absolute value of a is the absolute value of A is defined as is defined as so we using this color we use this symbol to denote absolute value of A sorry A absolute value of A is defined as positive A if a is greater than or equal to 0 and negative a if a is less than 0 so this is the real definition of absolute value sorry absolute value so let's say we have here, let's say we have example. Let's say we have this example. We have, given that we have uh, absolute value of 3, sorry, absolute value of 3 is 3. And absolute value of 2 is equal to negative 2. So this is how to calculate the absolute, the, the absolute value of a number A. So if A is less than 0, we take the positive value of A and then if A is positive and then we, we maintain the value of A itself in, in the positive value. Alright. So actually, uh, if we want to interpret the meaning of absolute value in geometry it is actually as you can see let's say we draw a number line here sorry we draw a number line and we have zero in the origin one two Three, negative one, negative two, negative three. So, if we want to take this example, the absolute value of three is exactly represented as like this, from the from zero to three. So, and then for the, the second example. It is actually, sorry, because it is a 2. So, negative 2, absolute value of 2 is 2. So, we can see that on a number, on a number line, on a, on a number line, absolute value is just distance, uh, distance from 0 to, uh, from origin to, to the number itself. 
So if we that's why when we had when we take we want when we calculate the absolute value of negative two, we take its positive value because actually what do we calculate here is the distance from zero to to the number itself. So so abs sorry absolute value of a is the sorry is the distance is the distance from origin or from zero to a so absolute value of a geometrically is the distance from zero or from origin to a Alright, so we, let's we check another example. Example. If x is less than 0, uh, x is less than 1, we write, sorry, sorry, we write absolute value of x minus 1 without sorry without using the absolute value symbol the ab absolute value Symbol. If x is less than 0, we write absolute value of x minus 1 without using the absolute value symbol. Means without using this one, what we know in the definition here, in the square. So, let's take, uh, let's take a, few, a few values of x using these conditions, using these conditions. So, let's say we have, because our condition is x is less than 1. So let's uh, start with x is equal to 0. Then x minus 1 is absolute value of x minus 1 is absolute value of 0 minus 1. So we have absolute value of negative 1 and then we have 1. We take x is equal to negative 1. Hence absolute value of x minus 1 is absolute value of negative 1 minus 1 we have absolute value of negative 2 and then we have 2 and then we we, we, we try x is equal to neg negative 2 hence absolute value of x minus 1 is absolute value of negative 2 minus 1 and uh, equal to an absolute value of negative 3 equal to 3. So as we can see, actually, as we can see, as we can see, we have here now, what we can deduce is, if x is less than 1, then what happened to x minus 1 is this value is less than 0 less than 0 because when we start with x equal to 0 it's already have negative 1 so means if we take all value of x less, that is less than 1 that is less than 1 and then the value of x minus 1 we are not talking about the, the value of absolute x minus 1 all values of x minus 1 is less than 0 Whenever, whenever, the, whenever values of x you take as long as you meet the condition x less than 1. So, by definition, sorry, by definition, by definition we have 
absolute value of x minus 1 is negative of this one. Because if we follow the, 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 the definition here, so we have negative because all values of x minus 1 is, le is less than 0. So we can say that it's negative. So we use the, defi the second definition here. Uh, negative x minus 1. So we expand the we expand the bracket here. We have negative x and then negative negative 1. So we have positive 1. And you can leave the answer like this, but uh, we prefer to to put the positive value in the front of negative. So we we arrange the terms here. We equals to one minus x. So this is our our answer. All right. So since we dealing with uh, f the function of uh, uh, the function of absolute value, we should know a few properties of absolute value uh, absolute value properties properties so properties number one the first property is a the absolute the absolute value of a is always greater than or equal to zero so because we say that the absolute value geometrically means uh, this the distance of the distance from zero to a, so means that the value of absolute a is always positive or equal to zero. Okay. Second properties we have absolute value of a is equal to absolute value of negative a, which is a. <laughs> which is a yes which is a okay third properties third properties the absolute value of two uh, the absolute value of products of two number a b two numbers a b is uh, we can re rewrite it separately as absolute value of a multiply absolute value of b you can do it like that also. Yes, you can separate the absolute value of a uh, product of two numbers as a uh, product of two absolute two separate absolute values. And then we have properties the last property absolute value of absolute value of a over b is equals to Absolute value of A divided by absolute value of B. So, an absolute value of a quotient of two numbers, we can rewrite it as a quotient of two different different absolute values. Absolute values. Yeah. So, this is the four properties that uh, we should know about absolute value. So, let's try some examples to make use of these properties so example sorry example so use the properties sorry use use the properties of absolute value to simplify the following to simplify the following use the properties of absolute value that we have learned just now to simplify the following expression Let's say we have A. Sorry, sorry. Let's say we have A is absolute value of 12 multiply the absolute value of negative 1 over 4. Okay, for this one, 
uh, you can either you can either evaluate the 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 values of each absolute values absolute values here. So we have. So we evaluate the first absolute value here, the uh, absolute value of 12, so it's just 12. Multiply the absolute value of negative 1 over 4. So absolute value of negative number is just the positive value of the, of the number itself. So the absolute value of negative 1 over 4 is 1 over 4. And then we have the answer. 12 divided by 4 is 3. Alright, so you can also use the properties uh, the, for the second the second absolute value. You can use the the fourth properties here, but it will be uh, a long a long a long step. So please, uh, if you conf if you are confident that you can skip some of the properties, please skip the property. Please skip some few few steps, unless you are not confident enough to skip. Unless you are not confident enough to skip, better you, you just follow these properties. Alright. Second example. B. B. We have absolute value of negative 36 over 4. Negative 36 over 4. Alright. So... Here you can also better you can evaluate this fraction first because 36 and 4 is uh, have same factor in common that is 4. So 36 divided by 4 is 9. So instead of negative 36 over 4, we can rewrite it as negative 9. And then from here we use the second the second properties. Is nine. Yes. So, this is the answer. So, absolute value of negative thirty six divided by four is nine. Okay. Just now we said that absolute value geometrically it represents the distance from zero or origin to to the number a. Okay. So now we talk about distance. Distance, oh sorry, between, distance between points, sorry, distance between, distance between point on real number, real number line, sorry. Alright, so if let's say we have if A and B B the coord the coordinate let if A and B be the coordinates of point points A and B respectively so if A and B be the coordinates of points A and B respectively so means that uh, the coordinate of point A is uh, the coordinate point of capital A is small a and the coordinate of point capital B is small b if A and B be the coordinates of point capital A and capital B respectively, the sorry, the distance the distance between A and B is defined as so if we have Keep uh, small a and small b are the coordinates of point 
capital A and capital B respectively, we can calculate the distance between point A and point B by the following, by the following formula. We have D of capital A capital B. So D capital A capital B is means that distance from point A and to point B is defined as absolute value of small b minus a. Okay. So this is how we calculate the distance between a and b on the on on, on the real number line. So we can use we can utilize the definition of absolute value to calculate distance between two points on real number line. So before before we end our video, let's try another let's try another example for calculating distance between two points. So example example Example, let capital A, capital B, and capital C have coordinate, have coordinates negative 9, 2, and 7 respectively respectively on a co coordinate line all right fine A is distance between point A and point B. So let's say we have uh, point A with coordinate negative 9, point B with coordinate 2, and point C with coordinate 7. So on a coordinate line, on a, on a number line. All right. Find first, first, all, first thing first, distance from point A and point B. So by using the definition of distance that we have discussed just now, definition, defin, uh, the, the definition of distance between two points. So distance from A to B is uh, the coordinate of is the absolute value of B minus A. So our B is two, two. And then our A is negative 9. So 2 minus negative 9. 2 minus negative 9. So we have 2. Since, my, since minus meets the negative, so it will become positive. Plus, so 2 plus 9. So 2 plus 9 is 11. And then absolute value of 11 is 11. Alright, B. Distance from B to C. So, again, with the definition, distance from B to C is absolute value of coordinate C. Our coordinate C is 7. And then our B is 2. Coordinate of B is 2. So, absolute value of 7 minus 2. 7 minus 2 is equal to 5, so we have absolute value of 5. And then we have, since 5 is positive, in the, inside, the, inside the absolute value is positive, so we just write the answer 5. Alright, last. Distance from A to C. A to C. Alright. So again, with the definition, we use from A, distance from A to C is absolute value of coordinate of C is 7. And then minus the coordinate of A and 
minus the coordinate of A is negative 9. So, 7 minus negative 9. So, 7 minus negative 9. Alright. So, since minus means negative, it will become plus. So, 7 plus 9 equals to absolute value of 16. And then, since six, since the value of in the, the value inside the absolute value is uh, positive, so we just write 16 again without the without the absolute value. All right. So this is actually we learn uh, we this is actually absolute value, the interpretation of absolute value on the number line that is the distance from origin to the number itself. And now we have learned several four property, four basic properties of of absolute value. And then from there, from here, we can use the absolute value to, to calculate distance between two points on the on a coordinate line.